Hi guys, this is going to be for my Leos and this is going to be from the 1st through the 7th of January. I do appreciate your patience with me. And you know, I would never willingly just not do cards or pull cards for you guys. So, Leo, let's see what we're going to have for you today or for this coming week. I'm going to be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using Learning Tarot cards with keywords on them, okay? So Leo, this is going to be for you. The Six of Swords, I see that in the past you were balanced. I see a contract or a marriage. The Emperor, you are grounded. The Three of Cups, love, this is current energy. However, you feel like you're out in the cold. This is the this is the mindset of lack, okay? This is the five of pentacles. The three of cups here for me signifies love. The two of pentacles, I see that you're guarding your heart and you're threading very lightly. You might be a little off balance or you might just be coming off of a trip. You might be off balance where your heart is concerned and where finances are concerned. I see you're in your head. You're wondering what is going on, why, why, why. You need to get out of your head, okay? The Prince of Wands, this is your farm. This is your young um, your young self, your young impulsive self. You, you're thinking along those lines again. You, you're having some impulsive energy. You, you want to do something. Uh, you want to communicate. This is the um, Prince of Swords. You want to communicate with someone. So let's see. The Six of Swords. Balance. Six of Swords. So on top of um, the Six of Swords came the Two of Wands. You have a choice. <laughs> you seem to be, um, you have a decision to make. You're longing to make progress, but you have two paths. And you have to choose which path. You have a decision. You know, the saying the grass always seems greener on the other side. So think about it carefully. Whatever decision you make, I see it will be very positive. I got the sun card. It seems like you'll have some kind of freedom and some kind of joy. And it will bring your confidence back in who you are. I see the ace of wands, which something is going to be giving you inspiration. Something is going to give you a new beginning. And you're going to have good news. Something is going to spark your creativity, okay? So let's see the Hierophant here. The Hierophant, that's some kind of contract. It could be marriage or it could be about a job. Um, this is the seven of, um, seven of Wands. You're above your challenges. No matter what, you're going to be above your challenges, okay? You're going to stand your ground and you're going to do what you need to get done. Um, this here you are, the King of Wands. <laughs> you're a leader. 
You're a leader. So remember who you are and you lead, okay? Take charge. Take charge of your life. Start that movement. That's what you're thinking about. It's coming fast. You're acting on something. You're acting on something. That's the eight of wands. So let's see. You're, you're acting on something that... It's going to make you feel grounded. It's going to ground you financially. <clears throat> Five of Swords, there's some kind of conflict. You feel defeated and you want to surrender. You want to walk away. Sometimes when we're almost there, we get to that point where we want to give up. Don't give up, okay? You will become balanced again. You will you are very generous with money. At least this is past energy. You were very generous with money. You were giving and you were receiving. You were balanced where finances were concerned. And you had great success and victory in the past where finances were concerned. You had the advantage. So three of cups, let's see what's going on here. You're going within yourself, you're soul searching. You really need to do that. You need to honor your spiritual self, okay? Don't forget the spiritual self. And when you do that, when you go within and you start that healing journey, you will see new beginnings. Yes, I know you, you, you Leos, you're very strong-minded. You're very, very strong-minded, but you're so much in here that you forget everything else, you know? So there's a new beginning and possibly fertility or pregnancy, or maybe somebody had a baby. And I do see the Ace of Pentacles here, financially, a financial new beginning for you. There's some kind of job opportunity, which is good. But however you feel out in the cold, why do you feel out in the cold? Five of Pentacles. Oy. Oops. Oy. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Why do you feel out in the cold? Feel out in the cold. <sighs> you thought you had some good business sense earlier and you were very confident. That's why you feel out in the cold. Something happened. It's, this card says, a helpful friend who is well-liked. Now, yes, this is the Queen of Wands, and this could be you. Or this could be an energy that was in your environment also, you know? A kind, loyal, generous, confident woman. However, that energy, which it might be you who did this to yourself, it gave you great sadness. You feel a lot of sadness and grief. I got the five of cups. You're, you Like your cup is empty. However, darling, there's a transformation coming. A spiritual transformation. Or I should say, my darlings, you know. This is the death card. There's an ending and a new beginning. You're shedding the old. Start the new. All right. So let's see the two of pentacles. Right now, you're a little off balance. You're a little off balance right now. However, darling, you got the four, four of wands. You're going to have a happy family. There's going to be some kind of reunion coming. Some kind of homecoming. And celebration, surprise. And remember, at this time, you are the magician. You have all the tools you need to create your reality. You just have to believe in yourself. And here we go. On top of the two of pentacles came the two of pentacles again. Balance, balance. 
You got ups and downs going on. You got to learn to adapt, which I know you can very well. Leos have that gift. They can adapt and they're flexible. They can juggle many things at one time. Hmm. It says this card says too, transferring money, profit and loss, financial decision, financial stress. And you're in your head a lot. You're in your head a lot because of a unified um, union, a u partnership, a unified couple. This is a love union. It, it was a very compatible union. Um, this is the two of cups on top of the four of cups. And I see the king of cups here. Mm. You have a lot of emotional intelligence as well. As much as you're in your head, you know, you have a lot of intelligence where your emotions are concerned. You know how to keep them down. You need to get out and start getting in here so you can understand what motivates you, okay? That was the King of Cups. The next came the King of Swords. Some kind of communication. Hmm. This person is very unemotional right now. They say it's an anal unemotional, analytical man. But it could be a feminine who, <clears throat> who um, is just stepping into her masculinity, maybe. You know, um, you know, we switch roles. We have roles to play and we switch them sometimes. Or this could be an actual energy. And the King of Swords is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. So here you are, young Prince of Wands. Young Prince of Wands. Let's see. Something has you feeling trapped. Something from the past, darling. You feel restricted. You're paralyzed. Something has you very fearful. What's going on, Leo? It's about love. You had major choices or you will have major choices to make about love. This has to do with a soulmate, uh, some kind of love connection thing. This is a deep, deep connection. Y'all share the same kind of values. You're going to have a lot of opportunities open to you. You're going to have a lot of wishful thinking and you're going to be able to make a decision or you're going to choose. <sighs> You're going to have doors open to you and you will have choices. Okay? Just believe in yourself. The Prince of Swords. The Queen of Cups. This could be a water energy within your environment as well that you will be communicating with. Or this could be just you going in within yourself and being sincere. You know, with your feelings. Because you got some, you, you got psychic abilities. You're connected. You're very nurturing, or this energy is very nurturing towards you. You're going to get good news. You're going to be very enthusiastic about it. This is the Page of Wands. However, you're going to be moving on soon. You're going to abandon something. You're going to abandon your plans and you're going to walk away and you're going to let go. You're going to travel somewhere to escape. Just remember this. Running away does not solve any problems. Face them. Okay? I used to run a lot. Whew. I was a runner. Anyway, my darlings, you take good care of yourself. I will see you soon, and I love you. Thank you so much for your patience with me. Bye.